உங்களுக்கு பிடிச்சவங்களோட பிடிச்ச நாட்டை சுத்தி பார்க்கணுமா தமிழ்நாட்டு நம்பர் ஒன் டூரிசம் கம்பெனி ஜி டி ஹாலிடேஸ் கால் பண்ணுங்க டபுள் நைன் போர் ஜீரோ டபுள் எயிட் டபுள் டூ டபுள் ஜீரோ கனடாவில் குடியுரிமை பெறவும் ஸ்டூடெண்ட் விசா பிசினஸ் விசா பெறவும் நீங்கள் அணுக வேண்டிய இடம் கேன் நெக்ஸ்ட் உங்களுக்கான மிக சரியான விசாவை கண்டறிய தொடர்பு கொள்ளுங்கள் தமிழிலே பேசி சேவைகளை பெறலாம் அரசால் அங்கீகரிக்கப்பட்ட ஒரு நிறுவனம் வாடிக்கையாளர்களுக்கு ஐஇஎல்டிஎஸ் கோச்சிங் முற்றிலும் இலவசம் தமிழ் தெலுங்கு கன்னடம் மலையாளம் ஹிந்தி ஆங்கிலம் என பதினோரு மொழிகளில் இருநூத்தி ஐம்பதுக்கும் மேற்பட்ட திரைப்படங்களில் நடித்தவர் ஆசிஷ் வித்யார்த்தி பல நூறு படங்களில் நடித்துள்ள ஆசிஷ் வித்யார்த்தி இன்றைக்கு யூடியூப் தளத்திலும் பிரபலம் ஆசிஷ் வித்யார்த்தி அபிஷியல் விளாக்ஸ் என்ற பெயரிலே அவர் நடத்துகின்ற யூடியூப் சேனலுக்கு பல லட்சம் ரசிகர்கள் நாடு முழுவதும் என்று இருக்கிறார் இந்திய சினிமாவின் சூப்பர் ஸ்டார்களான அமிதாப் பச்சன் ரஜினிகாந்த் உட்பட எல்லா முன்னணி கதாநாயகர்களோடும் இணைந்து நடிக்கின்ற வாய்ப்பினை பெற்றவர் ஆசிஷ் வித்யார்த்தி வணக்கம் வணக்கம் சார் வணக்கம் ஐ ஜஸ்ட் வாண்ட் டு நோ வாட் மேட் யூ டு பிகம் அன் ஆக்டர் சோ ஐ வில் ஸ்பீக் as they say I'll speak the truth nothing but the truth you know so to be honest sir um, I didn't know what to do in my life oh. okay uh, as when I say that what made me become a professional actor so I wanted to take care of my parents mm. the cousins around me you know all very bright a um, couple of cousins in iit some of them gold medalists in architecture and you know all those kind of things doctors and everything and here was i really struggling with academics struggling with mathematics actually oh. so and i had very old parents my father was born in 1912 i was born in 1965 oh. so lot of difference yes lot of difference and and my mother was born in 1929 so they were all very very old so as i grew up i saw that my parents looked a lot like others grandparents so growing up i i had this fear that i have to take care of them i have to find ways to take care of them so for me this was the profession now i of course loved acting that's why i used to do acting throughout but if you ask me what prompted me to become a professional actor definitely just wanting to earn a living to take care of my parents oh oh, oh. yeah how did you get the first chance in hindi film so before hindi films you know i mean just to take you back to delhi so delhi the, the idea was to first to get a chance in a play itself how do you get chance in a play so i remember uh, i was i was in college i was in a college called hindu college delhi university again i got admission there thanks to theater okay uh, i didn't have otherwise the marks to get there so as i was uh, studying there i wanted to do professional theater oh. i knew that that is a great place for me you to join a course also there yes no? at the national school of drama yes so when we entered that group the group called sambhav the, you know senior theater people so when i went down to join it so for the first one and a half years i used to be the person to for handling chai oh. you know, get the Just chai them yes, get the chai uh, get the sets in place and uh, do the lights the costumes get the script cyclo styled you know remember earlier before yes, yes, photocopy yes, yes, cyclo yes, yes. styling used to be there yes so i used to go and get cyclo styling and and get to drop actors because i had a bike you drop them and then a year a year year and a half later i got the first role so that is how it continued and then drama school happened national school of drama happened and that's when i when i really said now i have to because i was my parents were still much much older my father had retired my mother was retiring and she would take extension so at the core of it was hunger sir <laughs> the, oh. you know, the hunger to do something and uh, i recall there was a there was an auditioning happening for 
a film called Sardar. It was a being film being made on Sardar Patel. Sardar Ketan Mehta. Patel. That's right. So Ketan Mehta was directing it. So that's where uh, you know I was picked up as as VP Menon, and that was my first break. But my first release was a film called Drohkal. Drohkal, yes. Your first release could get you a national award. Yeah. How was that moment? Oh, that that moment was so so that I, you know. Imagine you're making your first <laughs> first film and suddenly you get national award. And I was shooting in a Filmalaya studio, and uh, I get the phone call from Govindji. Uh, they called me. I pick up the phone. You know, those public call. They said that you won the national award. <laughs> I didn't know what to do, and I was shooting there outside. So I said, okay, okay. Then Govindji said that you must come down. Uh, there's this mainland China. Is in Andheri East. Mm. You go and book that place. We'll have a evening party. Oh. So I said okay, and then I put down the phone. And the rest of the day I was shooting. Two hours. I was thinking. I Means how many people are going to come? Because I I never gone to mainland China. It was too expensive. <laughs> so I said party. What's going to happen? <laughs> how to manage? How to how many people? So I kind of thought. Then I finished the shoot and I sat on a bike. Went to my dear friend Pradeep. I picked him up. And we went down to mainland China. That was in Andheri East, and went in. And the manager was there. Nobody knew, so he said hello. I said, "There's some get together this evening." He said, "Yes." I said, "Can you just keep that reserve one table for us?" So I calculated. I said, "Mr. Govind Nehlani will come. I will be there. My friend will be there, and probably one more person." So I said, "Four Sorry, people. Four. four people. I booked one table." So 7:30, and I got ready, and I was just sitting there, and. Govindji walks in. He says, "Yeah, booked." I said, "Yeah, yeah." Where? I said, "That table, sir." He looked at me. What table? Book this entire section. I said, "Section." I said, "Some." So I said, "Okay." So I went to the manager. I said, "I said, just book this section." Now I'm thinking. <laughs> four people. I was thinking how to pay for full sections. So I'm just looking around. Now, 8:30 onwards, people started coming in. They are hugging me. Amrish ji is coming in, Nasir bhai is coming in, Om ji is coming in, Om Puri sahab is coming in. You know, they are all coming in, hugging me, and everybody is ordering drinks, and they are having prawns, and you know all that. <laughs> thinking. You are it. Totally many, panic. <laughs> a panic. I'm sir. I'm thinking how many years I have to be washing dishes to pay tonight's meal. I'm looking, looking at that, and then they are offering. What are you having? I said no, no. I'm just. They say, oh, you must be very excited. I said, yeah. I was trying to save as much money. I said, they say, take some fresh lime. I said, no, no, sir. Today I just want a little warm water. So I'm just taking warm water, adding some lime, and drinking. You know, I don't know what to do. So those two hours were the most stressful. So the party is getting over. Everybody is leaving. I build up my courage. I go to Govindji, and I said, Govindji, please today, if you can pay, then you know next. Just thinking, in how much time I'll pay? I said, next a little time I will clear this. He looks at me. He says, "It's my party, Ashish." Great. I said, "It's your party." Great, great, great. I said, "He said what?" I said, "Please, I want to have some prawns. Now <laughs> give me some prawns. <laughs> I want to now have some prawns, and I want to have a couple of big drinks." <laughs> drinks too. Oh yeah. my God! Can you believe it? I was just sitting here, not having anything, telling people, "No, no, no, I'm feeling full." <laughs> I said then, so. So you know when you uh, so that's a there's an ironical part to it, sir. That when you um, you know people think that you're very happy and you know. So I got the national award and I didn't have the money to even host somebody. And for years after that also, uh, you know when you work in that kind of cinema with no money. So even though outside people are praising you that you are a very good actor and you know, but you know that you know you are struggling to. Pay your rent. You're struggling to make sure that you know you can somehow take care of your parents. So that's the irony of it, and I think that irony of um, you know a performing artist is never lost. Um, uh, irony of anybody who's in the public eye is never lost because people have a certain image about them. Correct. Okay, but they are going through their own stuff. So that part liberated me because I got that it is important to take care of yourself. Okay, and that's what I tell all people who begin their journey. Very passionate, but it's important to pay your bills. 
so so therefore that you need to work for that because dreams need to be paid for <laughs> how was it working with govind rani oh that was uh, that was again a very interesting see you have certain understanding what acting is about okay you trained at the national school of drama you've done many many plays you walk into it and then govind ji is just you know, is only direction to viewers don't think mm. i don't want fellows just go on be 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 so it was a whole new way of acting and that's what i've learned that over the years as i work with different directors each of the directors starting with govind ji uh, brings in a new way of making it real and uh, you know we actors we have to find ways to make the director like our performance so many people you know very recently an, a young actor was telling me sir i'm i'm trying to get into the skin of the character okay so i said my suggestion would be try and get the okay take for the director because he knows <laughs> what the character is you're trying so many things and he says no it doesn't work then you get upset try to get what he wants in and, and somehow that is what i've learned from govind ji that's what i've learned uh, going forward in the film when we are in a film it's a director's medium okay you may bring in something amazing but the first test is does the director like it or not Correct. because True. you know and because it's his vision and so so for me uh, learning from and, and i later on asked him i said govind ji because many people used to ask me how did he why did he give you the role so one day i mustered up the courage and i asked him i said govind ji why did you give me this role he said i like the texture of your skin ah he's being a cinematographer he said that i said okay thank you <laughs> after that you have worked lot of films in hindi mm-hmm. how did you feel in working in films <sighs> so here is a part sir um you know acting is passion ah super you know and, and many people say that wow you're so lucky so it's your passion and you're working that but what happens is when you are when your passion becomes your profession true something alters blessed so, yeah it was no so what so there's a catch to it that's what i want to talk about so when you're doing theater we are not getting paid no money in hindi theater but it was truly passion but the moment the passion became a profession now i saw the passion diminishing the profession increasing ah so even though everybody else is saying oh wow you're blessed that i said yeah i know i'm blessed but it has now become from one project to the next project to the next project to the next project dates money dates money you know all that so i could i could sense it that that happiness of an actor uh, you know was diminishing even though everybody was saying wow you're so lucky yeah i say yeah i'm lucky but i'm noticing that i'm 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 just becoming you know i'm just becoming a yeah this is there yeah deliver yeah deliver deliver you know it becomes tak tak so that was a process which was an eye opener and uh, so so my transition to tamil cinema was that way uh, interesting because um, so i was doing at by that time you know by ni- year 99 i had done quite a few uh, big hindi films very major hits and uh, then over a period of time i was started getting the same kind of roles in hindi yeah same kind of roles happening and then the quality of roles started you know diminishing degrading. you know degrading money is getting but you know, diminishing you are not comfortable or yeah you know they making me do some one something gets clicked everybody wants to do me and they are making me do that then the reviewers are saying ajiv vidyarthi is doing the same thing but what do you do the reviewer the, the director is giving you the same role all that so what they were shooting in a place called mad island and i remember it was a it was a some script it was and we are doing it and all all of us very well known actors mm. we are sitting and the tea time this young director tells me ashish you are a mind blowing commercial film actor i said when this guy told me this i went home and i said i got to leave yesterday <laughs> not today yesterday at me <laughs> because imagine he's giving me this you're a mind blowing commercial film actor so you like saying that you know you just that is a time sir i started looking for work because i knew some amazing cinema happens in tamil oh okay. and i remember i recall that i just took a flight i just came to chennai that oh. was madras 
just came here and I looked around and met people, everywhere people. And that was again a very interesting eye-opener for me. Mm. So I came here, I met a lot of people, and some producers had known of me, some people I met. Uh, and believe it, you know, I had about eight films done by evening. Okay? Super. Yeah, eight films done. So super of eight films, you know, done. I land back in Mumbai and you can imagine how happy I am. One day I shared it with a few friends that boss, I got eight, nine films, you know, done. And then second day, third day, first week, second week, third week, two months, three months, no phone call. Oh. <laughs> that was the next eye opener. <laughs> That there's a difference between a promise and a film. <laughs> so, you know, that... Promises is, were there, it yeah, was not happening. Eight films, not oh. one promise, eight. I said, ah, and then, by then you said, okay. But something interesting happened, as I always felt. I had let the universe know that I wanted to do films in Tamil. So one day I was, I was somewhere in Lokhandwala and suddenly I get a phone. And Mr. T. Rava Rao on the line. And he says, can you come down to Movie Tower in Lokanwala? I said, sure, sir. He said, uh, I want to tell you something. Here, come, come and meet me. I said, yeah, sure. So I reached Movie Tower. I walk up, he greets me and says, hello, how are you, Ashish? Yeah, I mean, very nice. I want to tell you something. I don't want you in my film. But I have a crazy director who wants you. Oh. It does be straight. Oh. I don't want a crazy director. His name is Dharani and he wants you in the film. The name of the film is Dil. <clears throat> okay. There's this uh, actor called Vikram. You don't know him. But he's an actor. He's doing this film. And again, I don't want you in the film. Again. Okay. Hmm. This crazy director wants you. I said, sir, sure. And then he said, he said, listen, I'm not going to pay you any money for this. So I said, sir, then I will not work in the film. They said, of course, I was joking, joking. I said, yeah, yeah, sir, I know you were joking. So we had a little joke and banter. And then he looked at me and he said, this is a good role. Okay, I still remember when Mr. Rama Rao, in all his joke and everything, when he just said, this is a good role, Ashish. A good role. I said, sir, I'm doing it, sir. And that's how Dil happened. And I came here and I met... Uh, Dharani, that time we used to go under the name Ramani. And Dharani I met, I met Vikram and Poonchand Rao sir, I met. And Rama Rao sir, they were very, they were like, you know, I could see Gopi, uh, who is the cameraman. Mm. So I, I made some amazing friendships in that period. And uh, so we made that film in, in tremendous, amidst tremendous challenges. But I'm very happy that I did that film then. Super. Because it altered my life from that point. How was it working with Vikram in that film? Amazing. Uh, amazing because uh, again, as I said that, again, there was a lot of hunger where he was. You know, as I was saying that at the core of anything in life is hunger. And I could sense in, in Vikram there was a hunger to want him to do something amazing. And it was a very small budget film, sir. Mm. Very small budget films. I remember there was a challenge even how to get a steady cam for a day. Oh. You know, it was really that kind of a thing. So um, there was Vikram, there was uh, uh, Dharani, there was Gopi, who was a camp person. And all of us, you know, we are hungry, we are wanting to do something amazing. It was for me a revelation because I had till then worked in Hindi and this kind of a working style, fast, early, I was like amazed. But I loved it because I came from a background of theatre. Theatre time is money, okay? Theatre on time, you're always on time. So I loved the professionalism that was brought here. And it was the first time that I worked at the challenge of speaking another language when I didn't so, know the language. Mm. You know, it just flashes in front of me when my first schedule I stayed at residency, okay, the old residency. And by the second schedule, there was something happened and I moved to GRT. And uh, I think that was 99, 98 something, I don't quite remember, a little before that. Well, before that, in 1998. From then till now, You're saying. I only stay at GRT. They try to put me up in other, <laughs> a little bigger name hotels. But I say, no, in Chennai, it has to be GRT. 
So uh, I made some amazing friendships since then. And I've, I fell in love with Chennai and its weather. And do you know another very interesting thing? Uh, uh, I was I was baptized by fire. Oh. Because I, I shot, it was a period of Agni Nakshatram. Okay, and I remember at the 100 feet road, you know the 100 feet road? There's one here. Yes, yes, yes. It was still being made at that point. Mm -hmm. Okay, there was construction and we were shooting there. And I remember Jay Prakash was there with me. We were sitting on this chair and the shoes there. And my soul is sticking to the <laughs> road. It was so oh. hot. I had never seen so much heat in my life, <laughs> though I'm coming from Delhi. <laughs> and, and I told them what heat, and some people said, that's Agni Nakshatram. Wow. Till then, Agni Nakshatram existed for me as a Mani Ratnam film. <laughs> <laughs> I said, this is Agni Nakshatram. Now, well, this is, you feel it. So, so for me, it introduced me to the toughness that is required. Uh, when you're involved in films. You know, many people think that film life is plush and this and that. That's it. And when they say like that, I said, yes, you're right. Uh, it is plush, but it is, it is hardworking, tough so, and plush. You have worked in a couple of films with Vijay, right? How come you did not have a chance to work with Kamal Hassan? Sir, I still don't know. <laughs> I haven't had the opportunity. Did you get the opportunity to interact with the superstar Rajinikanth while you were working in Baba? Yes. Amazing amount of conversations I oh. had with him, sir. Parapara para cinema seirigal, nakshatrangalil pettigal, cinema varalaru aagiyavatrai paarkavum padikavum. Ungalukana iniyathalam tourandtalkies.co.